them had ever heard of the United Federation of Planets. Yet through fate, engineered by their own ingenuity, they set their compass to Starfleet. And without their intervention, I cannot say with certainty if all of us would be sitting here right now. Go get him, Janeway. The Protostar. All right. We got some uh, toys to show. So, uh, this I got as part of a four. They're four figures. So let's take a look at them right quick. I'm going to set up here. Thanks to Amazon, because they did their best. All the people, it's upside down, but whatever. It's 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 on Prime. Anyway, let me go set this up. I am opening as uh, I'm talking to you. I have a funeral to get to on Friday. A lot of stuff going on. Um, it's dealing with 25 family members and 30. Oh, just... All right, so I'm going to show one at a time. I'll pull the first one I see out, and we'll take a look at it. Oh, here is Pog. Look at this Pog. This is, yeah, he's the engineer. So let's take a good look at him first. This kind of reminds me of He-Man, the Masters of the Universe, how that show's kind of gone too. So we have him. It is, I don't even know what's going on with that. Okay. Let's take a look at the back. Uh, Oh, there's all these different things. Oh, let me remove the damn stand. Things to remove. It's not easy doing a video. Uh, six very different intergalactic kids team up after escaping captivity and launching themselves into space aboard the USS Protostar with the help of a hologram mentor. They warp across the Milky Way in search of Starfleet answers and a better future among the stars. Um, and we only see five of the six. Junk and Pog tinkers with anything mechanical, even when he's not supposed to. It's been a long time since I've seen profiles on figures, but of course it's Playmates. So good on Playmates. Uh, he has yet to find an engine that he can't fix with his trusty multi-mitt. Uh, like any Tellarite, he is quick. He loves to argue, but he's he's a he is great at getting the crew out of jams. For this one's for parents only. Oh, I can't wait to see what that's about. Um, maybe I'll do it separately, but, um, that's this one here. So we'll look at the character descriptions of each one. So if I'll move them around and here's the next one. Oh, I love her. She's great. Um, here is ugh, when you want to do something your way, the way it needs to be done. Uh, this is Gwyn, Gwyndala. I'll just call her Gwyn because I can't remember her name very well. And she's got the bat left, and she's got her secret um, sort of, I guess, inbred weapon. You know, she's got this weapon in here. Um, oh, my God. In-game unlock. So this is a Star Trek Prodigy Supernova in-game unlock included. I don't know what that means. Let's see. So here's her profile. The voice actress looks beautiful, kind of like she reminds me of um, Haley Steinfeld. Uh, Gwyn is among the last of her kind. Uh, her majesty of languages lets her communicate with any species the crew encounters. She uses her neural flexibilities to manipulate her fretwork into anything she needs, like a battle sword and shield. So um, she's like the second in command, I think. I think Dal is the uh, first. He is the captain. So here we have the engineer and the first officer. And we get to this one. Ah, here I like this character. This is um, meant to be they, them kind of character, asexual. This is Zero, who is a um, Medusan from the original series. And let's see what uh, Zero's is. Zero is a bodiless, genderless, energy-based life form whose true appearance can drive anyone insane. To protect everyone, Zero wants a, a containment suit made from uh, where he wears one uh, from a containment suit made of cast-off materials. Curious and intelligent, Zero is a telepath who just wants to help those around them. Um, so it's a them. Or it. I prefer it, but 
you know, it's not my not my call, not in this day and age. Uh, let's take a look at this last one. So here we have Doll, and Doll has Doll, Rail, and Murph. I guess after the uh, Interstellar Murph. So here we have Doll here, and he is the captain. Uh, Medusa probably is the uh, does the helmsman. So there's two different there's two different figures. An orphan with mysterious origins, Dal Arel is searching for a place to belong. He's only in charge of the USS Protostar because he says so. But with his can-do attitude, he's a good fit for the captain's chair. Dal believes the impossible is possible. Murph is that little. I think that I think the voice actor is the same one, D. Bailey Baker for the Clones, Clone Wars. Murph's an indestructible gelatinous blob of mischief. Or of own, unknown age and origin, not even the protostar's universal translator can make Murph understand and understandable to the crew. Murph will eat anything, even torpedoes. But it's like a, he's like a pet. You know, it's like a pet. So I don't know what. Um, the only one that you don't see is um, is Rock Talk, which is kind of strange to me. Why Rock Talk was not included? So in-game unlock. So they un you can unlock something, I guess. So these are the ones I got, um, all four, because there's no fifth one. It's kind of sad. There's no Protostar ship. Um, I don't think a physical Protostar exists. It kind of looks like the Voyager, but more um, accentu accentuated, you know, more emphasized. So here we are. These are the four figures. Um, yeah. I would say that, you know, this has to be the worst cancellation ever, but I wanted to do better. Even if we just get the first two seasons, that's all that matters. So, and maybe there'll be a movie. We haven't seen a movie in seven years. So let's hope for a movie in theaters for Prodigy and, um, and you know, put those hashtags, sign the petition. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Sign the petition, save Star Trek Prodigy. That's all I can say. All right? See ya.